Hey guys, it's Robin with WomenWithRobin.com. Make sure you take a look at my site. Okay, so we've been going over interviewing process basically with your client, with your prospects or leads. How to interview a prospect or a lead, okay? Step one was to make sure you introduce yourself, what it is that you do or whatnot. Step two is to make sure that you build report and ask fact-finding questions, open-ended questions, okay? Step three is going to be the close, and I know this is where a lot of people have problems, but if you are, here's the, here's the thing, here's the, the clue and the best hint, well, clue, hint, here's the, the main thing when it comes to closing. If you did step two and you did it the right way, you should have no problem closing. No problem whatsoever. They should basically close themselves, okay, because you've asked so many questions that were open-ended and you've gotten to the right answers you've gotten to their pain to what's going on with them what exactly they need help with and if you have the solution then step three closing should have you should have no problem doing okay so when it comes to closing you want to make sure that you ask close in the questions you don't want these those open ended questions that we had before when it comes to closing if you're on the phone or if you're on chat you want to make sure you're saying things like um, okay so if you are you open to op to making more money online? Yes or no? That's an open or closing question. So now it's after you've gotten all their issues and their pain, what exactly is they're doing? Oh, I'm not making enough money on my eight, nine to five business. Are you open to making more money online? That's this is when the close in question is come. Okay. So then you want to once you got them to agree, once they agree, oh. Um, I'm wanting to lose more weight. Okay, so if I have a product for you to lose weight with, would you mind taking a look? That's a close in a question that you want to use when you're closing your closing the deal. Okay, so once you've gotten them to agree, yes, I want to take a look at what you have to offer or what your business is. You want to either get on the phone with them, Skype with them, make it personal, especially if you need you are needing money right now, make it personal to where other people aren't doing it. Skype phone call whatever the case may be okay get them on the phone get them on Skype and actually walk them through your sign up page this takes time but this is how you position yourself as a leader this is how you let them know that you are there when they need them to be there you want to walk them through take them take give them your sign up link have them go there have them go to the page where they need to go to sign up Tell them they need to enter their information here. Let them know they need to click this next. Let them know once they get done with the sales page, they will have an email in their email account with the receipt. Let them know then that they need to go ahead and go log in to their back office or to where their product is. Or let them know if they're just ordering product, let them know your product should be here at this and this time. Let them know these things. Walk them through these things. Hold, hold their hand through the sign up process. So the way, this way, they know exactly what it is that needs to be done and what's going on. Then once they've signed up, let them know exactly what it is you need from them. Let them know the, let them know the steps that they need to take once they've signed up. Let them know um, what they expect from you and what you expect from them. That communication needs to be clear as day. And then that way they know, I mean, since you've walked them through the sign up, they know it's easy. They know that they, they can walk anybody through it at any time that they need to. That's duplication, okay? So that's your last step for closing the deal. First step was to introduce yourself. Second step was to build rapport and ask finding fact-finding questions. I don't know why I keep saying that backwards. Ask fact-finding questions. And then third step is to close the deal, okay? So I do have a blog post on this last step of closing. Make sure you click the link in the description. Go check it out. If you need more assistance, make sure you come to me. Facebook.com forward slash one with Robin. Have a good day.